two other ways of plotting a data and they are frequency polygon and pie chart so in the previous video we discussed bar graphs and histograms now we'll try to discuss frequency polygons as well as histograms so let's see okay so what are the steps of making a frequency polygon i already told you the definition of frequency polygon i will now write the steps series of rectangles series of rectangles are constructed in such a way now this is the definition of histogram only but i'm anyhow writing this in such a way that the width is directly proportional to the class size and this is the corrected definition and their areas are directly proportional to the frequencies right area is directly proportional to the frequency then we will get the histogram and in the second step write down join the midpoints of the tops tops of all these rectangles rectangles this is the second step and the last step is join this curve with x axis how will we join this curve with x axis by joining midpoints of previous to first and next to last class previous to first and next to last class so what is the meaning of this previous to first and next to last i will make you understand so let's suppose the data is given so if you have noted down the steps i will show you how to do let's suppose the data is given like this for 0 to 10 i will have the frequency 5 for 10 to 20 i have the frequency 10 for 20 to 30 i have the frequency 20 for 30 to 40 i have the frequency which is equal to 15 the data is given like this now first of all what we have to do is now the class size is regular over here so we don't need to adjust the frequencies so we will plot the histogram as it is so this is 5 right the next one is 10 10 to 20 to 30 we have 20 over here and from 30 to 40 we have 15 right now what we need to do is we need to join the midpoints of the top of all these rectangles right that was the first uh, the second step now in the second step join the midpoints of the tops of these rectangles sorry for this clumsy line and this one and the last step is we have to join this polygon with the x axis so the previous to first class join this with the x axis right and the next to last so join the midpoint of this class let's say some imaginary class we have over here 40 to 50 and this is minus 10 to 0 right so join the midpoints of the x axis the midpoints of these class on the x axis and you will get the complete frequency polygon so that's how we make a complete frequency polygon so the frequency polygon is ready over here guys there's a common confusion between a frequency polygon and an ogiv curve frequency polygon and ogiv curve there's a very big confusion among some people now see the frequency polygon is made with the help of frequencies but an ogiv curve is made with the help of cumulative frequencies so there comes a difference so ogiv curve with the, comes with the help of cumulative frequency while frequency polygon is made with the help of frequencies only right 
and this ogive curve can be of two types that we will study in the case of median that we will study in the case of median this ogive curve can be of two types more than ogive curve or less than ogive curve and the point where these two ogive curves meet that point is known as the median that we will be discussing in the case of measures of central tendency let's see the next graphical representation which is known as a pie chart so let's study a pie chart now how did we get this name pie now we got this name from an apple pie now actually this pie chart is in the form of an apple pie or let's say a pizza so this is of a form of a pizza and the actual contribution of a particular variable is made in the form of a slice of a pizza or the slice of a pie so let's find out how to construct this pie chart let's suppose out of 100 students out of 100 students 25 play cricket and 10 play hockey 30 play football or soccer and the rest of the people or the rest of the students don't play any game you have to construct this data graphically in the form of a pie chart now guys see we have a total of 100 students so consider this 100 students as a whole pie or as a whole pizza now 25 students will get how much slice of a pizza the what is the region of the this pie which will be given to this 25 students we know that the share of this 25 students we can count out we can find out the share of this 25 students this is equal to 25 upon 100 so they are one fourth of the total so out of this circle I will choose a sector which has the area one fourth of this total circle so this is the share of the people or the students who play cricket right I will make it a nicer circle pardon my circle uh, okay this is a good one so this is a center and this will be the share of the people who or the share of the students who play cricket now what is the exact way of finding out this share I will write the formula the share in degrees is equal to the number of variables number of let's say particular variable divided by total number into 360 degrees because we know that the total central angle will be equal to 360 degrees now in the case of cricket you can see that I have 25 out of 100 students who play cricket so the share in degrees will be equal to multiplied by 360 degrees which come out to be 90 degrees so the 90 degree share will be for students who play cricket similarly for hockey I am having 10 out of 100 into 360 degrees which is 36 degrees so this is 36 degrees so this is hockey and for soccer I have 30 so this is 30 upon 100 into 360 degrees which comes out to be 36 into 3 or 108 so this is the student who plays soccer and the last one will who play none so this is how we plot a pie chart it is a very easy concept right everybody clear so the formula for the degree of push the share of a, com, a some certain portion or a certain variable in degrees this is equal to number divided by total number multiplied by 360 degrees so this is the significance of a pie chart so now we have studied all the four forms in which we can plot a data so I will summarize the first one we discussed was bar graph then we discussed histograms 
then we discussed frequency polygons and then we had a pie chart now the thing which I am leaving here is OGEV curve why am I leaving this because I will cover this one in the case of the measures of central tendency median okay so I am leaving this OGEV curve this is another form of graphical representation of data OGEV curve